you go to the airport? I go to the airport. Can you take me? Let's go. What is that? Tea. <laughs> Trying to become a Texan, huh? It's supposed to be iced tea, not just tea. Let's go. All right. Bye. All right. I'm at the airport. Oh, they're probably gonna require that I wear a mask. Sure enough, I knew it. Let's go get an airplane. All right, so I made it to security and I was subject to a random check. Random. <laughs> here's, here's the other funny thing. You know how they make you wear a mask? The thing that they had an issue with was a, a, a bottle of hand sanitizer that I have in, in my backpack. <laughs> anyway, uh, they ended up let, letting me have it, so it's all good. All right, I'm gonna go get on the plane now. All right, so they wouldn't allow me to wear my gator, so now I have to wear a mask, so. Oh well. Very lonely this time of day, or night, really. All right, so I just landed, it is midnight. <laughs> it's actually been a pretty easy flight, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna head to the hotel. All right, so I made it to my room. Let me tell you what's going on. About six months ago, I decided I want to buy a an SUV. Okay, uh, looked around, I found some in my area that I liked, and uh, long story short, salesmen were playing games, so we couldn't never strike a deal. Uh, I ended up just finally ordering one, and they told me it was going to be six or eight weeks. I said, go ahead, let's order it. I ordered one, and of course, the six to eight weeks came and went, and took forever and forever. It finally came in right before Christmas. They said, hey, it's here. And I said, well, I can't come get it, because, you know, I can't. Uh, holidays and all. So, finally, get to the holidays, and I was trying to plan a day to come up here and get it and just never you know looking at the schedule it's you know it's hard to break away for a few days and then today I said you know what I'm just gonna go get it so about 4 p.m. today I decided I'm gonna go get it uh, <laughs> I went and grabbed Jason I said take me to the airport uh, of course before I did that I checked flights and there was a flight so here I am 1 a.m. I'm gonna go in the morning to the dealership. They know I'm coming, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna come out there and I'm just gonna pick it up and then I'm gonna drive it home. It's a 10 hour drive home, but hey, road trip, right? <laughs> anyway, that's what's going on. I will see you in the morning. All right, so I'm at the dealership. Uh, it's been quite a struggle buying a Dodge truck. I've never owned a Dodge and uh, I decided I was going to buy one. So, oh, about a year ago, maybe a little longer, I decided I'm going to buy a Dodge. And I went to a dealership around my area. And uh, I don't know, the truck had a price of, I don't know, let's let's call it, I don't remember precisely, but let's call it $46,000, okay? And uh, I started looking at it. I like it. I go test drive it. I come back in and I said, okay, let's talk numbers. <laughs> They come back with 52,000. I said, it's 46. How, how did it get to 52? And they said, well, you know, it has paint chip protection. It has, you know, you know how that works. I said, nope, I'm done. I walked out. Uh, came, uh, they called me back. They called me. They said, you know, they're going to honor the price and they're going to put, uh, it was a used truck. They're going to put new tires on it, blah, blah, blah. I go back and uh, once I'm there, Guess what? Well, I, I can't do the tires. And, uh, you know, we, we have a $1,500 uh, GPS system or, or alarm or whatever, and, and we can't remove that. So 
anyway, they didn't honor the price a second time. And I said, I'm done. And uh, I went and bought a Ford. I, I've always had a Ford and that was that. Uh, fast forward, I don't know how long. And uh, I decided I want to get an SUV to go to matches. Uh, you know, just, you know, go to matches, travel to matches. And, uh, and I decided I want to get a Dodge. I, you know, same deal. I go to a dealership in San Antonio and they wanted me to, before they showed it to me, they wanted me to sign for the price of the truck. And I said, I'm not signing for it. I haven't even seen it. Long story short, they didn't even have it. They just wanted me to sign. And on top of it, <laughs> they had a $20,000 market adjustment fee. It was stupid. So obviously I walked out. Uh, but I still wanted to buy, uh, you know, an SUV. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, it's a fancy truck. It's a Dodge Durango, okay? And just just had a hard time finding one. So anyway, bottom line is uh, I ordered one. I don't like sunroof, so I ordered it without a sunroof. And uh, I just had a heck of a time ordering one. So long story short, uh, I just put on Facebook, hey, anybody knows uh, Dodge dealership that can help me order a truck and that's not gonna mess with me because I was really tired of it. And a friend of mine sent me a, a, me a message on Messenger and they said, call GOAT at Campbell, right there, Arkansas. I said, well, I'll try that. And I did, and guess what? <laughs> just like I expected it. Talk to him, we talk price. He honored it, he, we ordered the truck, truck's here, I'm here to pick it up, real simple. So that's the way I like to do business and just letting you know what I went through before I found these guys. And yes, this is why I drove or flew all the way here to pick up a truck rather than buying it from San Antonio or anywhere else because I just don't like to play those games and that's what they wanted to do and I didn't have time for it. So these guys didn't play no games, just letting you know. So. We're not completely done, but I don't think there's going to be any games. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're about to sign some paperwork. You might be on camera. Yeah, that's cool. So this is David. I'm Jason. Jason, you're Jason. Yeah. So this is Jason. I, so I picked him up from the Holiday Inn this morning, and he come out here and seen his car for the first time. We've tried to sell it for like two weeks. There's been people coming through like, hey, 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 hey. We told him, no, it's sold. We put it in a sold spot for him. So we're really happy he's here, and we're happy that he's uh, – he's having a good experience so I just wanted a, a certain color and uh, that's the main I want a certain color which was granite and I didn't want the sunroof which finding the combination was really hard um, especially because I wanted the leather seats and everything so it's kind of a high-end vehicle without <laughs> without a sunroof so we're gonna get through the paperwork and I'm gonna head home all right so I'm done with all the paperwork I'll see you in Texas